Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, do come into the comments. Say hi. Let me know where you're from. I will get back to you, I promise. Um, I'm going to pull from Soul Helper Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through for you. And this is good for all of you watching. Card 21. Ooh, interesting, Virgo. It says, recognize despair as an opportunity. Within it, you will find the gift of awakening. Especially so for any of you who may have been going through like dark night of the soul energy. Um, there's always an opportunity within for some form of awakening, awakening to your um capacity for resilience your uh capacity for perseverance um think of drawing on strength card energy um the strength the courage and the confidence to overcome the obstacles think of um temperance the the um transmutation right from despair to joy and um boundless optimism if you get what i'm trying to say there's an opportunity within is what the message of the card is for any of you who um have been despairing lately and it's kind of in the ether i'm going to be honest and seeing it a lot in the comments so you are certainly not alone what i'm going to do pull the main spread give you my general impressions and i'll um clarify where i feel i need some little help okay two of swords is the um, overall energy so we are hitting a crossroads moment um, there may be some important decision you're mulling over this top row is your person. The middle row is your energy. Um, and the bottom row is the connection. As always, it can come through reversed, uh, especially if you're a cross watcher. So do keep that in mind. So for your person here, um, I, I almost feel like I'm going to sort of read the two of you and the connection for the past because it's all sort of happening at once. Um, there you are sort of engaging with them with regard to something more reciprocal, right? The, the give and take of it all. And you were dealing with somebody who was kind of on the fence, torn, couldn't make up their mind. And I have a feeling that whatever happened, it might have left you... Um, despairing and it might have left them with some regret so that was then this is now this is you pushing beyond it trying to move to calmer waters gain some peace of mind and your person is in this interesting energy of understanding that they have a lot more power than maybe they thought they had the the magician can be a card of manifestation it is mercury um but it's also about having all the tools at your disposal feeling a sense of mastery and in the connection there is a focus on something really beautiful and, and joyful and, and and buoyant and lively and happy in the near future maybe what your person is having more confidence about is their ability to sort of contemplate a future. Um, I feel this Queen of Pentacles is your energy. This looks like the beginnings of where they're starting to envision you as a potential life partner. I'm seeing reconciliation card here for you. I, I love the fact that you're sort of coming into some measure of balance. Um, and then in uh, the future uh, for the connection, we're going to clear the air. It's just um, all our truths are going to come out on the table. We're going to sort through it. Um, and it feels like there might be some very positive energy down the road a bit. So let's jump in. I want to see what the Two of Swords is about. For sure. Another two. Two of Wands. Three. Oh, okay. So... Now you're sitting here after, this might have actually happened a lot more recently for some of you. This um, sort of 
their indecision and the mis whatever mistake was made or your sense of despairing because they were kind of like, I don't know that, you know, that I'm as invested as you are. And that's why we're getting the two of swords where you're going within to kind of get clear around the path forward. And so are they. I'm reading for a connection here. There's the beginning of the investment. So at least with the three of pentacles, it's like we get on the same page. And that's important because here you are feeling very um, either rejected or um, devalued on some level. And so this is an important decision that you have to make about the path forward. And, and are we seeing things the same? Because it's not feeling too good to you at the moment. Whew. Okay, so for your person, I want to go from this two of pentacles to the magician. See what that shift looks like. I almost feel like I'm talking to uh, uh, those of you who um, had a lot of communication. Um, and so what has been happening here is this person finding their way to something that feels reasonable, right? Like justice is about the balance of things and maybe there is the apology. Um, it's not yet from the top of the deck, so they're kind of sort of getting to that point where they feel empowered enough. They feel um, that they have everything they need to kind of overcome this moment, to find their way to either a message of love from, you know, something sincere, an apology for those of you who feel that that's warranted. Um, that's, what they, that's what they're up to. That's what they're up to. And so let's get from the magician to the queen of pentacles. And now what they're manifesting them, they're feeling, feeling good enough that they're willing to just sort of take the leap. There is a little bit of risk assessment with the fool, um, but it's not going to hold them back. It's not. There are some things that, that might need to be worked through. That's cool. And I feel like between now, uh, you know, when they're contemplating um, possibly some kind of happy happy ending in this situation they are seeing you as rock solid you're steady you're dependable you you know it's like you're a keeper and they're and they, it comes to, to light it's something that they begin to see so right now they're in this little bit of a phase of one part feeling competent enough to speak from the heart to restore the balance to take a chance, a well-calculated chance, um, and to work on those areas that are a little bit stickier because they're starting to see the light around something. Um, they're seeing your value, Queen of Pentacles. Love that. So for you, I understand the Six of Pentacles. I want to kind of, I mean, six, you've got, I know, six, six, six whatever six of pentacles six of swords six of wands I, i'm not in superstitious that way but it's kind of funny but in tarot just so we're clear the sixes are about balance it's very steady energy so let's lead with that six of swords to six of wands oh virgo Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. I think you know this person's resistance is more show than anything else. Like you're kind of willing to wait it out. You know, it, it's almost like you're kind of, it's like a hair, a hair toss, you know, like, ah, yeah. It's going to take some time. Screech as much as you, as you like. I don't feel the Seven of Wands is your energy. I feel like you're patiently waiting out somebody's resistance. I don't think there's a lot of, you know, negativity here, but I, there could be a little tension. Um, there could be a lot of tension because if someone isn't on the same page as you are, it means you kind of have to pull back. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you going like, oh, I got to check myself and I, I'm going to wait it out. I'm just going to stay curious and open. 
right? My ears are open, my eyes behind my head, everything's working. And it just feels really like you've kind of, at this point and going forward, you've got it together. Um, and it does feel like it's a matter of time. You're gonna just let it unfold organically. Um, I do wanna pull one extra card for the Six of Wands. Because the Six of Wands would, you know, be a, a meeting in the middle, a compromise, a negotiation, sort of. Um, all right, nine, there's, there you are, Virgo. So it is about a triumphant homecoming as well. So if this person, um, if you're in any form of separation, it can be that. But I'm also feeling like they come home to the realization that they want a future with you. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I like the energy. I like where you are. I mean, you know what I mean when I say I like. My opinion means nothing. But what I'm trying to say is the energy for you looks very good. I like to see it. it makes me feel good for you that there's something that's kind of formulating into some confidence and comfort. This will this will all unfold organically. Uh, I'm just going to wait it out. Nice. So let's go ahead from the um, Ten of Cups to the Knight of Swords for the connection. Mm -hmm. I know. It's really lovely. It's so nice to have this connection. You're seeing it very clearly. I know you are. And your person in that in the magician and the, and the fool energy, it's kind of like, yeah, they know they want something this good. Five of Swords, interesting. And the Knight of Pentacles. So that's why things may move slowly. And that's why we've got your Seven of Pentacles. I understand it now. So there's been some, uh, I feel like there's been some, I don't know, head games or just some some energy that has felt um, what do I want to say I don't want to say like it was a setup but where there's an energy of I wasn't going to win this right like so I guess that is kind of like a setup where you really thought you were on the same page and things were moving forward. And then it's like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. And I think it kind of pulled you back a bit. Um, I'm feeling like this five of swords belongs to you. I feel like it's it belongs to you in that it's how it's how you perceived the situation and why you're allowing things to kind of unfold more organically and move more slowly and deliberately this is another virgo card um, because there is something really powerful about this relationship but if you feel like you you know maybe you were set up for a fall some way somehow a little bit of head games game playing whatever no worries because it's going to get cleared up Look at the two knights looking at each other. The Knight of Pentacles is very deliberate, very intentional. Um, whatever offer is going to, the knights make offers. Whatever offer is going to come from a Knight of Pentacles is going to be solid. So that's the first thing. Um, they're not going to right, set you up. They're not going to say one thing and then stab you in the back. It doesn't work that way. And the Knight of Swords may come in with clarity. The two of you may talk about how this felt, what was said, what was done, what were expectations. Oh my gosh, the worst wor word in the vocabulary. What were expectations that you had that were not met or that were that you something you felt was promised and then reneged upon? Whatever it is, it's going to be different for everybody because it's a general reading, not a private reading. Um, so I feel like it gets worked out. Um, and any misunderstandings get cleared up. That's where this is headed. So, and by the way, I, I do still have that Lionsgate special. I'm going to be starting those readings. I think the portal, Lionsgate portal opens on July 27th or 28th. I think it's one of those two days. And then I'm going to knock out a bunch of the private readings for Lionsgate. 
Uh, the portal closes on August 12th, but the main day is 8-8. So if you are interested in $88 off my private readings, there's a link below to that. So it's still available. I just haven't been talking about it a lot because a lot of people have already are in the pipeline, as they say. Um, so what I want to do is I want to kind of examine this person a little bit more deeply. I want to get a better understanding of what may, where there might be the misunderstanding, um, right? What this might be something where you really questioned their intentions too. So I want to look at that in the extended, all from their perspective, how they feel about you, what are their intentions? Uh, we got a little bit of a clue, but I want to go into deeper detail. So if this is spoken to you, the link to the extended is below. You're going to see option one, option two, option three. There are three different options for how to get extendeds. There's a one time only for just this one. There's a monthly membership for Virgo and there's an all access pass. Please read before you buy. Um, those are in the description box below. Also, if you've been enjoying my readings and then you have found them helpful or enjoyable or clarifying, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we're getting a little bit of traction back. So thank you very much for those of you who've been so supportive since I started panicking about it back in June. Thank you. I'm still panicking, but a little less. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, share, <laughs> click the notification bell, do all the things. <laughs> Doesn't cost you anything. Anyway, um, thank you for that. I greatly appreciate it. So here's your astrology. We have the Justice card is Libra, Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. Um, the Fool is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles is Capricornian energy. We have the Page of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. More Virgo in our Nine of Pentacles. More Virgo in our Knight of Pentacles. And more Gemini in our Knight of Swords. Interesting, the Virgo-Gemini dynamic here, since um, Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini, and he is in his pre-shadow phase right now. So all kinds of misunderstandings are on the menu. And that's why you may clear it up. Okay, that's what I've got. I'm headed to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second.